This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a HP Chromebook 11 G4 with a cracked screen, and I'm going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on the HP Chromebook 11 G4. This procedure will work with the G3 version also, but it's not guaranteed to work with other versions of the HP Chromebook. 11. Uh, so just this is for G3 and G4. Okay, first thing we want to do is identify the model number. And for this version, it's in very small writing on the back, on the bottom of the laptop. At the top right corner, you can see HP Chromebook 11 G4. All right, so with Chromebooks, when you open and close them, they'll turn on and this one should turn on shortly. So what we want to do is long press and have it turned off. So we want to have it turned off while we replace the screen. Let's go over the tools we're going to use for this. We have a PH1 electronic screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and one is the size. We then have, we have a smaller PH0 electronics screwdriver. We have a metal spudger to pry things open a pair of tweezers to manipulate cables and screws, and a hobby knife or exacto knife, and that's to remove screw covers and adhesive tape. So the first thing for this one, what we gotta do is remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame that goes around the screen. And to do that, we need to remove two screws at the bottom, which are hiding behind the screw covers. This model is a little bit tricky in that the screw covers are not round, they're shaped, and also the screws are a little bit hard to get to, but we'll get to that. So we get our hobby knife, for exacto knife, and try to lift up the corner of this screw cover right here, and kind of lift it up. It's easier for me because I already did it once, so it comes off easier. First time it will come off, it's a little bit more difficult to come off. And same thing on the other side. So let's get the camera in view and just put it on the screen bezel. That's the best place. All right, next thing is we got to remove these screws. These are small screws and we need to use the smaller PH zero screwdriver. And I found that it's best when the screen is tilted back at around 45 degrees. And we have to come in at an angle for these screws and uh, use quite a bit of force the first time so as not to strip screws and get the screw started and then remove it. And then once you remove it, once you're putting the bezel back on, it's, uh, it's a little bit hard to get the screw started. You have to work it at an angle, but it is possible. I've done it uh, a couple times before, so you can get it back in. So. Both times, work the screw at an angle, use some force when starting the screw, and then take it out. And for this, uh, for each step, in the, when removing the screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile, and that helps me keep track of which screws go where. So same thing on this side. Just remove the screw at an angle, and hopefully your, the screwdriver will be magnetized so you can just grab the screw by the screwdriver and just take it away. Okay, so that's probably the hardest part of the whole procedure and it's not too bad, especially if you've done Chromebooks before. Next step is we need to snap off the screen bezel. There is some adhesive on the screen bezel, so we gotta find a spot where we can get a grip with our fingertips or fingernails once we do get a grip, just lift upwards and outwards. And then in this way, just go around the screen assembly and snap off the screen bezel. So go all the way around. And then work the screen bezel off so that the hinge cover comes off. Just tilt the screen assembly back a little bit and it'll come off and just snap it off when done snap it on in the same way. Once you remove the screen bezel 
the screen is held to the back of the screen assembly with four screws on the side. And we use our regular bigger PH1 screwdriver to remove these. And so we have a separate pile for these also. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back a little bit when you do this step so the screen doesn't fall forward. And then gently lower the screen on top of the keyboard, making sure to avoid the power key power button so as we don't turn on the laptop when we do this. Okay, next is we grab our hobby knife and remove this connector which is secured by some adhesive tape. So we lift up the adhesive tape and gently start lifting the tape. And first time it's going to be a little bit harder to lift this tape but just take your time doing it and then peel the tape back and just slide the connector out like so. When you reconnect it, you'll feel but not hear two clicks. And this is a close-up of what a properly connected connector should look like. There should not be a gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The two sides of the connection should be flush with each other. Okay, and we remove the screen and take a look at the screen. This is a standard 11.6 inch EDP screen that is found in many Chromebooks. It has side mounting brackets, a 30 pin EDP connector, and a matte finish. The model number for this particular screen is N116WHM-N11. Uh, when you do get your screen in, it most likely won't have the same model number, but the mounting brackets should be in the same spot and also it should have a 30 pin connector and a matte finish if that's what you prefer. Okay, uh, once you do get your, you can order this screen from us from Screen Surgeons and what we offer is this exact same toolkit that I used in this video. It comes with the screen that you purchase. We have free shipping in the United States, a two-year warranty on our screens, and a free email technical support. Uh, this Chromebook is used by many schools, and we do work with many school districts around the country, and we have volume discounts. So if you're an individual wanting to buy this screen, go to our website, www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a form for you to fill out, which will guide you to find the right screen online. If you are working with a school district or a school, there should be a, there's a link at the very top of our webpage that says schools, and there will be a form for you to fill out to let us know exactly which part you need, and we can then go from there. We do offer volume discounts to schools and purchase order, ability to purchase with purchase orders. Once you do get the screen in, reconnect the connector as I showed you, mount the screen in the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top, two at the bottom, then mount, mount the screen bezel, and then put the two screws in at the bottom as I showed you. Once again, the trickiest part is putting the two screws in back, but it's doable also. Okay, and then your Chromebook should be back to new. Okay, and that should be it. And once again, my name is Eugene Panrutkiewicz. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.